Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I just wanted to show you something I picked up from a car boot sale recently. Um, I was rummaging around in a couple of crates with bits of wiring and cables and stuff like that and I came across some old laptop batteries. Um, now I'd heard that the batteries inside the laptop battery battery banks were lithium iron and um, for anybody who knows about lithium iron batteries they're, they're a lot better than the standard NICAD type batteries. Um, they're a lot lighter and uh, they're a lot more powerful and they're just a better battery basically. Um, I've not read into them a lot but I do know that they are a better battery. So I thought alright I'll, uh, I'll take one of these home. So I took the battery bank home, the laptop battery bank, split it open and sure enough inside was that and that is, I'll show you a close-up of this later, that is four banks of two, each set of two is in parallel, and then the four are connected in series. These are 3.7 volts uh, per battery, and when they're all connected up like that, it gives you 14.8 volts. Um, I think the uh, amp hours, if I remember rightly, looking at the casing, was something like 64, something like that. I might be wrong, but I think it was 64. And these are the 18650 batteries, which if you go and look on eBay or anything like that, you can see you can buy them. Uh, and they're not cheap, so, you know, there's a couple of quids worth there. And um, so what I want to try and do is I know you've got to be careful with these because if you charge them incorrectly they can overheat and in some cases they can explode so you've really got to be careful with these you really need a special charger to charge them individually uh, or if they're in a bank like that then you need a specific uh, charger which has protection uh, incorporated into the charge system but what I thought was how about sticking the solar panel on it and seeing how that and just keep me eye on it and see if it trickle charges it enough for me to be able to uh, utilise this for when I'm uh, doing my CTX um, expeditions for the CB radio. So I'll just give you a closer look at the batteries uh, and then we'll try charging them with the solar panel. Right, okay, we've got, the, uh, we've got the meter out and we're just going to test the current voltage prior to charging. And we're getting 12.5756 volts there. So we'll stick it on the solar panel, keep our eye on it and uh, see if we can uh, charge it up. Right, okay, I've got the... Uh Batteries connected up now to a 10 watt solar panel there, which when I put the meter on it was getting just over 20 volts coming out. I've got the meter connected up there and it's showing 14.75. That's with the solar panel connected as well, so I don't know if that makes a difference to the reading. But it was 12. Point Five, seven was it before? Before we started charging it. So I'll just keep my eye on that. Check that it doesn't get warm. And we'll uh, check it back later. See already it's up to 14.83. Right, we'll keep your eye on that. Right, I started charging at ten past nine. It's now quarter past nine and the reading on the meter went up to 15 volts. Now I know you're not only supposed to charge lithium ion batteries up to, ah, it's dropping, up to about 14 volts or just above 14 volts and then you leave it, take it off charge and see if it holds charge. And you see the readings jumping around all over the place there. I've took the solar panel off now. It's only been on five minutes. And you see the readings jumping all over the place. So 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep my eye on the voltage now and see where it uh, see if it holds its charge. I can't believe that's gone from 12 point whatever the reading was 12.5 volts up to 14 volts in five minutes just off the 10 watt solar panel. So if that's the case, that's going to be brilliant. Right, I've come into the garage now. I've just set the battery up on the bench. Got the meter on there. 14.37 6, 7, 6 and we're just going to keep a note there. You can just see past the drill. So at 10 past 9 it was 12.5 whatever it was and we've put it on charge for 5 minutes and now we're at 14.37 so we'll check that now at regular intervals didn't get warm at all when it was charging it was only on for 5 minutes 14.36 seems a bit more stable now Okay, battery update. It is dropping. It has dropped to 14.34 now, uh, but that's at 10 o'clock. So the last reading was 20 past 9, which was 14.37, and I'm on 14.34. But that was on a five minute charge. So, uh, right, well, we'll check back, see how we're doing. Battery update time. It's now 11 o'clock. I've left it an hour now in between and we're down to 14.32 volts now so it's dropped 2 volts no 0.2 volts in an hour so that's not too bad right keep checking Right, I'm just doing another little test here with these two lithium ion batteries, both in parallel. It's just a little two battery bank. Uh, they're giving me 4.01 volts, which is pretty good for a bank like that. If you're getting 4 volts or more, then that's that's usually quite good. Um, I've just attached a little USB connector there. And I'm just going to link up this USB light, put it under load, and try and drain the batteries down. And then we'll try charging them up again with a smaller solar panel and see how that works. Okay, I'll just connect the uh, light up now and we'll uh, see how we get on. Right, okay, there's the uh, USB light there. Glowing away nicely. And 4.01 volts. And the time is 10 to 12. Okay, we'll keep around on that now. Right, okay, it's day two of battery watch. I've just uh, checked these batteries. And 14.16 volts. And at four o'clock yesterday it was 14.27. So yes, it's dropping, but it's still 14 volts. And this battery here, the light's still on and that's now at 3.92 volts and at 4 o'clock yesterday it was 3.9 volts it's probably the same actually so uh, that's not changed much either so we're doing quite well I'm going to uh, leave this one for a couple of days now and come back and check it in a couple of days but the uh, the one with the load on I'll uh, come back and check that later on okay see you in a bit okay bit of an update I've, uh, I'm quite confident this battery is going to be alright for what I need so uh, what I've done is I've run a cable from the positive end all the way along, one on the negative, and just put these two leads into a power pole connector. 
which is the standard connectors I use for pretty much everything and then I've just wrapped it in electrical tape I might get some heat shrink at some point to go over that and just make it a bit more neat but for now it's okay I've just tested the voltage on it and it's still at 14 volts so uh, I suppose the ultimate test is going to be testing it under load with a radio but uh, that's what I've done so I'll see how we go with that see you in a bit right this uh, this light now has been on this battery for three or four days now and it's still at 3.75 volts if it's a 3.7 then that's pretty good so I think I'm going to uh, draw close to this test now because I'm pretty satisfied that those batteries are going to work really well so uh, yeah lithium ion batteries try and get hold of some right hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video.